Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at the truth about flammable flatulence. Contrary to popular belief, it is probably not methane that is leaking from the behind of a reckless bro when he tries to light his fart on fire, known as pyroflatulence. Rather, it's more likely primarily hydrogen. In a typical healthy body, human farts are comprised primarily of hydrogen, nitrogen, some carbon dioxide, and potentially a small amount of methane and oxygen. These farts are primarily made in two ways, from swallowing air and digesting food. Swallowed air delivers nitrogen and oxygen to the digestive tract, where the latter is mostly, if not fully, absorbed. The nitrogen, on the other hand, passes through unimpeded, hence making up a large component of a typical gaseous rear expulsion. Nitrogen, however, is not flammable, which is a good thing as it makes up about 78% of the Earth's atmosphere. The remaining gases in farts, which also may include a small yet extremely potent amount of hydrogen sulfide – think the rotting egg smell – are generally byproducts of the fermentation and other actions that occur when microbes in the gut feast on fiber and the like in the diet of the host. These microbes include certain bacteria as well as primitive forms of life previously thought to be bacteria called archaea. The hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide, and methane produced by these microbes can all be lit aflame, and as such, a typical fart will burn yellow or orange, with the flammable part mostly being hydrogen in this case. If, however, the fart has a blue flame, this is usually attributed to the expulsion having an unusually high methane content. Methane in any measurable amount in most people's farts is not terribly common, with only about one-third of humans having measurably significant amounts of it in their farts. Even then, in one small study, looking at only 10 people's farts and experimenting around with their diets a bit during the study, it was found that those who did have measurable amounts of methane only produced it when fed significant amounts of fiber. The fiber-free version of their farts was almost wholly made up of nitrogen for all 10 subjects. With the fiber version, the average fart contained only 3.6% methane. The bulk of these individuals' farts was made up of hydrogen 51% and nitrogen 30%. Why only some people produce methane in their farts isn't entirely clear, though at least in part it is to do with with what microbes call one's intestines home. So far, only three microbes have been identified as methane producers in humans. Scientists have identified a few factors in predicting if a person is a methane producer, and one of the most important of these appears to be where you live, although it isn't clear if genetics plays a role here in some other way. For example, while 77% of Nigerians and 87% of South Africans produce methane, only 34% of Norwegians and 35% of those who live in and around Minneapolis do so. In addition, adult women are more likely to produce measurable amounts of methane in their farts, and young children are less likely to do so. Finally, if both your parents produce methane, then there is a greater likelihood that you will too, with one study indicating as high as a 95% chance that the spawn of two methane producers will also produce methane. More than just inconvenient, though, recent studies have shown a correlation between methane production and several gastrointestinal diseases, including diverticulitis, inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, as well as colon cancer. Although there's no definitive answer why, some people believe that the methane slows the intestinal transit time. In any event, care should definitely be taken when practicing pyroflatulence. For instance, in 2008, a 12-year-old boy received 18% burns to the backs of his legs and thumb while lighting his fart, although in this case he failed to notice a can of petrol nearby. Beyond such external factors, in flaming the situation, a survey done by the now-defunct Fart Cloud website, an online survey, so it may well have been all just hot air, indicated that one in four people who've lit their own farts burned themselves in the process. And now for a bonus fact. According to none other than Dr. Fart himself, Dr. Michael D. Levitt, who has published over 275 papers on flatulence over his decades of research on the subject, and who is generally considered the world's leading expert on farts, women's farts consistently smell worse than men's. Why? Because women's farts generally contain higher concentrations of hydrogen sulfide than men's. How potent is that hydrogen sulfide? Just 4.7 parts per billion is all that's needed for about 50% of people to detect the noxious odor. And just 50 parts per million can cause eye damage. At 100 to 150 parts per million, after just a few breaths, your sense of smell will be gone. At 800 parts per million, 50% of people will die within 5 minutes of exposure. And when it gets to 1,000 parts per million, Million, even just one breath can be enough to cause you to collapse and often die. 
So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one and thank you for watching.